is NDS 115 to be deferred? This is a question which is generally asked by a lot of persons and professionals who are concerned with NDS implementation in India. To understand this, we need to look at why and what is there under IFRS 15 because in days 1 and 5 is nothing but it is a replica of IFRS 15. There are some small carve out from IFRS 15 to in days 1 and 5 but the most important thing is that why there is a need to defer in days 1 and 5. During this particular video of webcast, I am going to discuss about what is there under IFRS 15 and why India's 105 is to be deferred or why it is not to be deferred and what is the stage of the decision for the uh, decision for deferral IFRS 15 which is the base standard for India's 105 IFRS 15 was issued in May 2014 when the IFRS 15 was issued the effective date was to be applicable to the financial statements with a period beginning on or after 1st January 2017. It also talks about application or permission to earlier adoption. Now why this, there was a need to have IFRS 15? There was a joint project between IASB and FASB and they have set up a transition resource group TRG the objective of TRG was to formulate a separate standard of revenue recognition when we look at the FASB which is a financial account standard board of USA and when we look at IASB international account standard board the both are having US gap and IFRS and they already contain a lot of literature on revenue recognition. Now, the objective of TRG was to see that which are the diverse practice being followed by industries and there has to be a single set of standard which is going to provide a comprehensive revenue recognition framework. When we discuss about the existing standards before IFRS 15 under IFRS, there were two standards IS 18 and IS 11 and also there are interpretations the IFRIC 13 custom loyalty programs, IFRIC 15 agreements for construction of real estate, IFRIC 18 transfer of assets from customers and SIG 31 revenue from barter transactions involving advertising arrangements. When the IFRS 15 was issued all this bucket of six standards interpretations have been superseded. So that shows the requirement or need of a one single comprehensive revenue recognition framework which was provided by IFRS 15. When we talk about the India's 105, on 16 February 2015, MCA has notified the company's Indian Accounting Standards Rules 2015 and it provides you the applicability of India's and it provides you the companies which are required to converge or adopt India's compulsory and uh, the years 1st April 2017-18, uh, 1st April 2016-17 uh, which are the two roadmap issued by MCA. Now when we look at the IFRS 15, this IFRS 15 provides a 5 steps framework. Step 1 is to identify the contract with customer. Step 2 is identify the performance obligations in the contract. Step 3 determine the transaction price. Step 4 allocate the transaction price. And step 5 recognize revenue when a performance obligation is satisfied. So when you look at this particular 5 step framework, it is very clear about what everyone has to do at the time of recognition of revenue. Each and every company, each and every professionals are required to ensure that at the time of recognition of revenue, each of the steps are being complied with and followed. So 
when you talk about the first step it says that identify the contract and second step says that identify the performance obligations of the contract now that means for each and every transaction one need to identify what is the obligation to perform possibly there may be a one transaction having a two performance obligations then you are required to account uh, each performance obligation separately by allocating a transaction price that the price which is agreed between the buyer and seller need to be allocated to each performance obligations so ifrs 15 and in 115 is very much clear about the steps for recommendation of revenue this has really made the life more simpler this has really made to ensure that the comparability of accounting of revenue recommendations across industries and across companies within the same industry is been followed now let us look at the what are the main differences between nds 115 or ifrs 15 with existing standards i just try to provide a brief overview about the differences first difference when you talk about is multiple element arrangements as ifrs 15 and indies 115 is very much clear that each contract need to be studied to determine and identify the performance obligations in each contract and you have to recognize revenue for each performance obligation separately when you look at the IS 18 which was earlier revenue recognition standard it also talked about the separate elements and arrangement recognitions but it was not so much comprehensive and clear hence the diverse practice was there wherein few companies have tried to adopt and uh, recognize revenue elements wise in one transactions while in some of the companies have uh, recognized a uh, one transactions ignoring the element wise recommendations once we are under ifrs 15 or indies 15 it will be very simple and very easy there is no divergence and everyone has to ensure that the each and every elements are being recognized separately as per the performance obligations which is covered under the contract second is about a timing of revenue recognition when we look at the ifrs 15 or indies 15 it's clearly talks about and provides you the conditions and principles with respect to recognition of revenue at the point of time or over the point of time if it is at the point of time the recognition of revenue is done at the time of transaction if it is over the time then it is recognized when on the satisfactions of a performance obligations so whether it is whether the, the company has to follow percentage of completion of contract or whether it is be follow at the time of providing services it is streamlined it is clarified and simplified with respect to the one particular objective of timing of revenue recognition which is very much clearly specified under ifrs 15 additionally ifrs 15 and indies 15 provides a very good examples of and it also provides you about the conditions when to recognize a variable considerations so whether it is a variable considerations or whether it is about a financing arrangements or for options or license i for 15 provides you the solutions to these kind of questions which are not clearly provided under the old standard is 18 or is 11 so i for 15 provides a solutions to the so many questions second thing that helps us to have comparability and same ap- application of the standard across industries now the question which is into mind is that whether india's 105 is to be deferred i think this question which we need to understand and let us debate on this question because i come to my view the both plus and minus points are there first let us talk about why this to deferred or why certain class of people feel that the indies 105 need to be deferred first point which was being raised is that the transition resource group trg is already in the stage of providing lot of clarifications on application of ifrs 15 in june 2015 trg uh, uh, isb has already 
uh, issued exposure draft on clarifications to IFRS 50. Now this exposure draft clarifications to IFRS 50 is still open for comment and provides a more examples and also provides a response to the application guidance of IFRS 15. So the one set of people feels that as the IFRS 15 uh, is still revolving and there are a lot of clarifications are going to be issued by ISB over the period then instead of applying IFRS 15 right now let us wait and watch let us understand what is going to be there in the future and after understanding fully we will go ahead and we will apply the India's 1 file. Second point for deferment is that that certain customer industries like telecom, real estate, uh, IT industries where it is perceived that the India's 1 on 5 application will have a huge impact and these industries have not still assessed the impact of the new standard on their financial statements. So they require a more time. So these are the main two points where they require that the India's 1 on 5 need to be deferred. It may be deferred one year, two year is a different story, but they don't want to uh, be apply applicable right now. Now let, let us look at the another, other class of people where we feel where they feel that the it is not to be deferred. The one most and very important point is that India's were notified to be applicable in the month of February 2015. There are more than six months are already lapsed between the notifications for applicability of India's one uh, India's and currently still it is not clear that whether it's applicable or not applicable yes there are so many companies they have already taken a steps to ensure that they want to apply now there may be few companies who have already taken steps to apply India's 105 because it was already notified at that time so they are not very much sure that whether it is to be applicable or not, not applicable. So at this time, after speed the period of six months, if it has been deferred, then whatever the steps they were taken for conversions to India, that may be a something which is required to redo the task. Second thing is that India is 109 and corresponding IFS 9, which is also applicable from the period beginning on or after 1st January 2018. Now there are few parameters or there are few issues which are common under India's 109 and India's 115. If the India's 115 is deferred then there is also a need to change under, under India's 109 and corresponding India's carvers will be required for India's applications. So uh, also that is believe that there is no need to defer India's 115 because there are also India's 109 which is applicable from 4th January 2018 which is also adopted by India. So this in the same manner India's 105 also need to be adopted. And uh, when you look at the overall impact there are different class of people and they both are having a valid arguments to see whether it's to be uh, deferred or not to be deferred. Now let us understand what is right now going on about deferment whether at the ICF front or whether it's NACAS or the MCF front. There was a meeting which was called by NACAS wherein uh, it was discussed that uh, let us take uh, the view or uh, standpoint of, and view of from the industries and they call for the views from the all three industry chambers that is FIKI, CII and SOKM to give their view whether they want to adopt India's or they, whether they want to defer. In the last month in the last latest meeting uh, the views of industry chambers were that they don't want to adopt in the A's 1 and 5 at this time and their view was to defer in A's 1 and 5. The views have been considered in the last latest NACAS meeting and it is said now that NACAS is going to recommend Minister of Corporate Affairs to defer in A's 1 and 5. Whether in A's 1 and 5 will be deferred for one year or two year and whether the earlier application option will be given or not that is not still clear for that we need to wait and watch and see that any upcoming notification of MCA regarding deferment of India's 105 will provide more guidance on that with this thank you very much to my viewers thank you all